So I'm just going to share a few of my thoughts on using whole part whole because I recently used this to deliver a tutoring session on the UEFA C license. Uh, the re for me a whole part whole is starting with the end in mind. So that might be the game, that might actually be a technical skill. But normally we're related to a game, so starting with a game which will have potentially conditions on it. It may just be a normal game, but you may have some conditions or constraints on it to try and get your topic out. So you'll start the session with that. And then what you would do is break that session down to one component of that whole practice. So if it is a game, it might be something like playing through the midfield or um, supporting runs to the striker to enable you to finish. And if it's a technical component, it might be breaking something down, such as your foot position when striking the ball. So you're concentrating on shooting overall, but you're just working on getting that foot position right before you go back into the finishing stage. So you'd start with the whole practice, break it down into a component of it, and then open back up to the whole. Now, for me, there's four big things that stand out that make this a great way to coach for all coaches at all ages and all levels. First is, especially with younger players and grassroots players, it allows you to start with a game. So we've all had it all the time. When are we playing a match? When are we playing a match? This allows you to start with a game. It also makes that easier if you've got two players turned up, start 1v1. As players turn up, just add them in. Add them in 2v2, 3v2, 4v4, to whatever you go up to. So it allows players to engage straight away and they're playing a match straight away or a game straight away. So they should be buying into your practice and engaged. So that's one of the best parts for me, is getting that initial engagement. Secondly, something that's really important when we do our coaching sessions is that we check players learning. So we can do all the coaching we want, but if they're not learning, is what we're doing effective? And ultimately, what we're trying to teach them to do is be better in a match situation. That's what training's about. So this gives us a way to check their learning. So we start with a game where we've got to try and play through midfield. We then break that down into a component of midfielders rotating to create space because that should help us play through midfield. And we focus just on that part of it in a lot of detail. Then we go back to the whole. And once we go back to the game, we can now look at are they implementing the messages we've taught in that smaller practice in the whole game? And it might need a bit of time and a few reminders, but we can check what have players learned and are they able to implement that in a game situation? So for me, that's another massive one. The next advantage of playing um, whole part, whole practices is normally, if you structure it right, it's easier to set the part up. So in the practices in this blog, you'll see some videos of the whole game going on. And we've got a midfield section where we're concentrating our efforts in the part practice for the rotation. All you have to do is have this midfield already set up you go into that bit for your training practice so you don't need to change anything around okay and then you open back up so you don't lose loads of time to collapse in part of your session to open another part of the session up or setting up cones and putting areas out like that so that can have a massive advantage for me okay finally one of the big advantages comes mainly from the from the player's perspective it can using whole part whole and breaking parts of the session down it allows the players to relate it to the game. So a lot of times you might get players who ask, well, why are we doing this? What's the point? Or if they're not asking that, something will be thinking. By going through a uh, whole part whole, making it game related, you show how that small section fits into the whole game. So it allows the players to improve their understanding, which as a knock-on can improve their technical knowledge and make them more effective in a game. So that's just a few reasons I like using whole part whole practices. There's a couple in this blog and there's a couple on our YouTube channel as well if you want to have a further look.